For me, I, the reason I fell in love with football is the 1994 World Cup when I watched it on TV and it's a, it's a big deal. You, you, the people that don't take notice start to take notice of what's going on because it's such a big event. Uh, I was the same, so I'm, I'm uh, I think uh, maybe 11, 12 at the time and I'm looking uh, at the World Cup and I'm thinking, wow, you know, this is, this is amazing and I fell in love with that. And then once, uh, one, after that, that's when I went to watch my first uh, Wales game. Uh, when I went to watch my first Wales game, I remember it, it, it's in, it was in Cardiff at the old Arms Park Stadium, big 60,000 stadium. And I was like, wow, this, this is amazing. Uh, this, is, this is what I, I would love to do. Uh, and uh, when I made my debut, uh, I remember that first moment when I came out and uh, I was a 12-year-old kid watching Wales. Uh, and then the, the first appearance that I made for Wales and I knew I was going to make my debut and I came out the tunnel and I looked around and, and the national anthem started going. That's when I was like, wow, this is, this, what an amazing feeling because, you know, you, sometimes you can only dream these things and you, you can play around in the park with your friends and everything, but then to be the one that goes out and there's 68,000 people singing the national anthem and they come to watch you and you're the one representing all the people that's you know it's it's amazing it's, it's hard to put into words because it's uh, it's something that uh, sometimes it's 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 feeling you know it's it's a feeling rather than it's something that you put into words it's a amazing amazing feeling very very proud my name is robert Earnshaw. i'm 34 years of age uh, I play for the Vancouver Whitecaps, uh, ex-Wales International 59 times and um, some of the things I enjoy to do is music, go to restaurants, uh, designing my hat company called Black Zinc um, and uh, just uh, football obviously um, and enjoying time with my family. This judges that one and a chance here for... Uh, what brought me here is... Um, it's funny, I was thinking about it the other day. Um, you know, f when I fell in love with football it was actually the 1994 World Cup, which was USA 94. Uh, I think that played a big part. Uh, I always wanted to play in the Premier League and uh, in the UK, and I have also played in Israel. Uh, and the next stage to try something new and, and something different was uh, I paid attention to the, to the MLS. And it's something that I, the challenge that I wanted to to, to go ahead with and something that uh, I thought was uh, the next step in my career. Uh, the fans, uh, to me, have been amazing. Uh, every team I've played for Toronto FC, Chicago Fire and now Vancouver Whitecaps. Everywhere I've been, uh, the fans welcome me, uh, the fans have been brilliant. Some of the things that uh, really, uh, I guess, played a big part in me moving over was, uh, I think, I think one of the first few weeks that I was in the UK, I, I saw snow for the first time uh, and I was like, whoa, like, you know, what is that? <laughs> you know, the sky's falling, you know? Uh, so th just little things like that, you know, there's no snow in Zambia where I was born. Um, so, you know, sometimes the, the little things um, and even, you know, it's funny, you know, maybe race and everything also played a big part because you know for me when I was younger there was no uh, there was no black kids around uh, you know I was new to 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 all the other kids around and, and you know my color and everything like this uh, you know and also you know maybe a little bit also the same way but um, uh, but that kind of took a, a lot of getting used to and, and just the learning of, you know the cultures the the different ways of uh, of how being brought up Miss in Wales. Wales. that one, and a chance here for Wales, and it's a good strong run from Earnshaw. Chance for Earnshaw. You know, I'm going to for different countries. You know, uh, maybe Italy, maybe Serbia, or whatever. Uh, it's Montenegro, different places that I've been, and you hear racist chants. Uh, you know, uh, so it, it's it's something that's uh, is always in in and around, uh, I guess, human life now. Uh, but, uh, it, you know, all the time, I think from when I was young to now, I think there's always some kind of racism involved. Immigration, you know, I think 
they do. Uh, I think they do a good job. I think all the the legislations that they put on. Uh, I think they, you know, they, you know, it's 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 a tough one because there's there's always people who are going to be for it, people are against it. But uh, I think overall, you know, people, uh, you know, the they they put the. the, the the rules are there for a reason, you know, and uh, they, you know, there's, there's always going to be evolving all the time because that's the culture we're in. It's always going to be evolving and, and, and different rules and everything. But uh, uh, I think they do a good job, uh, and uh, it's. I think you'll you'll get better. But uh, you know, the the world is getting smaller for me because I think uh, you know different cultures. People are traveling a lot more. People are going to different places, and um, it's only a good thing.